Hey guys, guess what? We're back. So I decided to come back again uh, this year. Um, see if we can find anything more. This yard has been very, very good to me. Uh, hopefully we can find a few more good things. Uh, we shall find out. Uh, it's still not lived in, so I'll get some nice social distancing in. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can find. See you on the first hole. All right, guys, first hole. Just saw it here a second ago. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, there we go. There is a coin. Ring in, copper penny, we'll see. Oh, yep, I already see one cent. Like 1955. All right, got a weedy right off the bat. Let's keep going. All right, guys, I have something round in the hole. It's not a coin. I don't know what it is. Not too far off the front of the house again. It rang in about a kind of that mid teen range. A little bit bouncy. Don't know. Looks like it has a design. Some sort of button, maybe. Can't tell if that's like lettering or just a design. I'll have to come back to that one or pop it up on the screen right now and show you what it is. Looks like initials or something on there, some sort of script. I don't know, kind of cool, some sort of button I think. Alright, let's keep going. Alright folks, I'm going to cut in right here because I got quite the surprise. So I got home from the trip and decided to go ahead and clean my uh, finds right away. And I had that button in the sink and I was slowly, carefully brushing it off. And I saw what came through and I couldn't believe it. I thought that's what that was, but I wasn't 100% sure. I Googled it and to my surprise, it was a GAR button. A Grand Army of the Republic button. Now the Grand Army of the Republic was founded in April 6th of 1866. It was limited to just honorably discharged members of the Union Army, Navy, Marines, and Cutter Services. Um, it was only to those veterans that served between April 12th of 1861 and April 9th of 1865. Um, the, the membership grew by the 1890s to over 400,000 members, uh, so it was quite the veterans group. Um, so I would say with this design, it probably puts a square in the 1800s, which is pretty awesome. Completely unexpected and definitely a bucket lister of mine. So let's get on to the show, guys. <laughs> well, guys, I just pulled a chunky boulder nut bolt out of the hole and uh, still had a signal in there. So we do have some sort of round. Another wheat. All right. What do we have? Oh, 1909! Alright, it's my first 1909 I've dug. Looks like a plane. Do we have a VDB? We do not. It doesn't look like it. Oh, 1909 plane. Heck yeah, that's a nice looking one. It's got full wheats and everything. Awesome. Good coin. All right, let's keep her going. All right, guys, I'm pretty close to where I dug a buffalo last year, toward the base of this tree in the front yard. 
Okay, and I have a pretty strong nickel signal at about 6 inches, ringing about a 12. Occasionally chirping up to 13. And this yard that's been good nickel tones. Let's see what we have. Nice and deep like I like them. That is not a nickel. That would be a bottle cap. Darn it. That sounded good. You guys see the impression? Got a swim bowl. Like it's been there a while too. If you look at the end of it, the way it's kind of eroding away, it's pretty thin. <laughs> Looks like it was silver plate at one time. Awesome. I'm out in the ditch right now. House is way up over there. So, all right, we're gonna keep going. All right, guys, I had a pretty bouncy signal. I felt it was junk, but I might have a coin. As you can see, I'm not too far from the house. Let's kind of heading back toward it. Got a little green edge right there. So we're going to go ahead and pop that. Oh, yeah, it's nice and green. And green from this yard hopefully means Indian. Oof, that's really nasty. I don't know. Oh, you better believe it. 100% an Indian. Let's see. It is an 18. eighteen ninety six from the looks of it. Front is pretty. The back's kind of schmoozy. I will have to get that cleaned up at home. I don't want to rub very well here, but you can totally see the headdress and everything on there. 1896. Ooh, yeah, buddy. Let's keep going. All right, guys, I got a pretty good penny signal. Let's see if I have another wheat here. It's ringing like a copper. Oof. Tell you what, guys, I don't know if you can see that, but this is why you wear gloves. Some writing on that. I don't know what it said, that's an S there. Uh, you can real easily, as most of you know, cut yourself. If you're new to it, always make sure you wear those gloves. You just don't know what's in the hole with what you're trying to dig. I would assume that's probably my signal. Yep. Just a piece of junk. But, we're going to go ahead and clean that glass up too while we're here. So, always be careful, you never know. 